I'm going to show you the 10 best weapons that you need to use and level up first inside of Modern Warfare 3. This isn't just my opinion. These are statistically the best, and more importantly, it's what the pros are using inside of their tournaments with money on the line. But either way, if there's one thing that I'm known for, it's having really solid builds inside of the game. And just a little sneak preview. I mean, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is sponsored by my wallet. I'm, it's not, there is no sponsor, but I would really appreciate if you guys would just go over and check out my Twitch stream, okay? Drop me a follow over there. I actually haven't streamed since Modern Warfare has launched because I've been preparing videos not only for this channel, my second channel, and my third channel, which we'll talk about later. If you guys appreciate the effort and you want to just, you know, hang out with me sometime, see some of the gameplay live, just check me out over on Twitch. That'll be linked on the pinned comment in the description but without further ado we have 10 builds and then a bonus one at the very end that in my opinion is the best of them all let's get right into it now you might actually be a little bit concerned that you don't have these weapons unlocked yet or you may not have the max level yet well two things one i have a video dedicated to how to get the weapons max level that was posted yesterday it's unbelievably quick to get a weapon max level but you may not have it unlocked yet and we have these stupid armory unlock system that is just it's the dumbest thing they could have come up with well, here's a quick way that if you don't want to go all the way to level 55 to get that weapon all the way unlocked, what you can do is you can actually go into zombies and bear with me, you can go into your gear and then select weapons. So you have an MCW that's typically not unlocked until like level 40 or something that you can just equip and then you go into the raid and then you exfil with that weapon and now you have the MCW permanently unlocked. So you can kind of use that as a hack as you can go through. You can either find weapons in contraband. You can pull something out of your insurance slot, or you can even buy weapons off of walls. And then you instantly unlock those when you extract them. It's super easy to extract. It's a nice little hack there if you want to have these weapons unlocked and then use my max level strategy that I talked about in a previous video. And then you can use all the builds that you have today. But in the meantime, make sure you are screenshotting the builds because whether you unlock it today, tomorrow, or next week, the builds that I have are awesome. First off, we have the MCW. Once again, we're going to show the build real quick, and then we're going to show you the build. I mean, does it? I, I'm, I'm like not even controlling the recoil. It just shoots that straight. It is the MCW 556. It has some of the best time to kill, and most importantly, as you can see there, it shoots extremely straight. We're not going to get it super into the weeds here. We'll have a video where we kind of go over in the future. We talk about some of the advanced settings. We talk about, you know, how to build guns very, very well. But for now, we're just going to go over the individual build. I would encourage you just take a screenshot okay and i'll kind of talk through it real quick we ha the heavy support grip is one of my favorite things because not only does it control recoil really well aiming idle sway look over at that and it's one of the most over or underlooked statistics and that takes away that sway which makes this gun an absolute beam castle comp helps out with the recoil the cyclone not only gives us more range but more importantly more bullet velocity we have the reflector sight which in my opinion is the best sight in the game it doesn't clog up your sight and then the regal heavy stock helps out with that recoil control and as you can see there it is an absolute beam fortunately we don't have to talk about tunings anymore because tunings are gone in modern warfare 3 so if you're happy for that drop a like because tunings i hated that it was such a waste of time we went from having 10 attachments in vanguard to then five attachments with plus and down or plus up and down left and right so we basically had five attachments with two tunes which means that we basically had 15 different attachments instead of 10 from vanguard okay rant over thank god that is behind us okay next up we have the wsp storm this is the fastest killing gun up close that i know of obviously outside of a shotgun uh shotguns are a little bit unreliable but this gun oh my gosh you move extremely fast and it kills so quick up close there is a little bit of a damage range drop off issue but as you can see here i'm moving around the map extremely fast and it shoots and it fries so we went ahead and built this out with a little bit of a longer barrel and some considerations for recoil control keep in mind this is going to be one of those guns where you are aggressive getting in people's faces pushing into buildings starting to just mow down enemy teams this isn't going to be something where you're going to be sitting back on a heady you know trying to to beam people from a long distance away right so the build that we have here is all based around controlling the recoil extending that damage range but then still keeping the mobility so we have the lacerda compensator which takes away some horizontal recoil we have the wsp reckless long barrel which helps out with that damage range also the bullet velocity also recoil uh, we have the fortress heavy stock which once again helps out with that recoil the 50 round mag it will hurt our movement speed a little bit but you could rock the 40 round 
it's kind of up to you what you want to pick there the 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 50 round is going to hurt your ads speed a little bit but frankly it's fast enough as is in my opinion adjust as you see fit and then I rock the Mark III Reflector Stock. Now, fortunately, in this game, when you throw on a 1X stock, it does not hurt your ADS speed like it does in previous games. So if you like the Iron Sights, you can ditch the sight and throw on something like a Rear Grip or a Under Barrel. But in my opinion, I hate the Iron Sights on this gun. And it's also like really shaky, right? I, I don't hate the Iron Sights so much. It's just a really shaky Iron Sight that I prefer the clarity of the Mark III Reflector. Okay, moving on. We're going to show up the DG58. I was shocked. I normally hate burst weapons, but watch this. You can one burst someone if they're close enough. If they're off in a distance, throw in a couple headshots, and you can still get a one burst. But most importantly, look at how literal vis little visual recoil and little actual recoil there is. Okay, typically when you're aiming at someone this far away, when you hit a burst, it would go one two, three. It would kind of climb up, okay? Not with this gun. Yeah, I, this, this might be one of the best guns in the game. And then it's got really easy follow-up shots as well. The gun build is extremely nice. And most importantly, look how fast that ADS is. I mean, come on. <laughs> if that doesn't sell you on it, I don't know what will. Okay, we go into the gunsmith. We have a ported barrel to help out with the recoil. We have the angled grip that helps out with the horizontal recoil. The DG barrel helps out with the bullet velocity and range. The Mark III reflector helps out with a clean iron sight. And then the warrant comb, I really like because of the aiming idle sway. That is one thing that I often think is overlooked and helping out with that aiming idle sway will really keep you on target. This one is also really nice as well because when you start to get into some horizontal grips or some four grips, like if I were to go with something like a demo or firm grip or an F-Tac Ripper, it will affect my ADS speed down below by 10%. And we don't want that, right? We want to keep our guns fast. And since this gun has so little recoil, I can throw on this angled grip, which does not affect my, uh, it does not affect my ADS, but it helps out with horizontal recoil, allowing this gun to be the beam that it is. Once again, I'll try to remind you that way for those of you who are on your phone, make sure real quick you are taking your screenshots. Okay. Oh, there's your screenshot right there for this build. Okay, next up, we have the Rival 9, one of the classic guns that we saw inside of the beta, and it's even better now, in my opinion, than it was back in the beta. Okay. We got the Rival 9mm. I mean, the fact that I'm even able to hit stuff consistently from that far away is extremely promising. More than anything, this gun is very snappy to use, very quick time to kill. It's different than the standard rival with a 9mm. It has a farther out damage range. You'll, you'll kind of notice that with, with the way the, a lot of the guns are built. You'll be like, I have a Striker 9 and I have a Striker. I have a Rival 9 and I have a Rival. And basically, a lot of these guns, a standard version will shoot a 45 caliber. A 45 caliber may kill a little bit quicker up close, but it won't have as much damage range because in real life, a 9mm has better bullet velocity, which means that damage will travel farther, theoretically, without getting into the whole 9mm versus 45. That's a whole separate YouTube video. Okay, so the build that we have here is all about controlling this recoil because this gun's kind of a shaker. But fortunately, I like the iron sights, okay? So we're going to rock the Lacerda because it has a lot of hor horizontal shake. Same thing with that angled grip to take out some of that horizontal recoil. I throw in a 40 round mag because this allows me to be aggressive and, and get a lot of back to back kills. The vice assault grip helps out with recoil. And then we have the close quarters stock because we need some gun kit control because this gun is a shaker otherwise. But this is the rival nine. A lot of pros have been using this inside of tournaments and I can see why because it's pretty reliable and a lot of fun to use. Next up, we have the MTZ 556. Okay, different than the MCW. The MTZ 556 is another one of those guns where very little visual recoil. It's going to feel great to use on mouse and key and controller, but this gun has a lot of horizontal recoil. And if you, I've seen some builds going around that are horrible. This one will treat you right. Okay, it's 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 just gonna it's it's gonna be such a fun year. Okay, for controller, keyboard, and mouse, you can finally shoot a gun straight have it feel good in your hands and not have all this visual shake and smoke and they did a really nice job with the gun this year but i threw on a komodo heavy okay it's gonna hurt my ads speed but you need this for the horizontal recoil control because otherwise this gun starts to go off to the side and is really tough to control angled grip mtz cinch pro barrel the mark three reflector it's my favorite and then the marauder stock is going to help out with that recoil control and gun kick 
I'm just gonna keep giving thumbs up as, as a reminder to you guys to, to take those screenshots, okay? So once again, uh, I'll go back here in case you forgot to take a screenshot here. And I'm pretty sure I gave you this one as well. <laughs> but you're gonna have a whole bunch of screenshots of, of a dorky Isaac on your phone. Make sure you're getting those screenshots in so that way you don't have to go back and check out the video later. Although I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind double views on a video. Don't get me wrong. Okay, moving on. This isn't the Rival 9, but it's the Striker 9. It's the exact same thing. Once again, going from a 45 to a 9 millimeter, it's going to have a further out damage range, which is why the pros prefer the Striker 9 over the standard Striker. Okay, this gun, very fast, very fun to use. Okay, you can see the second it gets into my hand, now I start zooming across the map. I am not a fan of the iron sights on this gun, though. It's one of those where it's a big circle and then a little, you know, sight out in front of it. It's just bad visibility. So I threw in a dot sight and even out to those medium ranges, right? Because I build a lot of these guns assuming that you're going to be an average player, right? You, even, even if you're kind of a cracked player, this is really what I prefer because I also play mouse and key. I'm a hybrid player. So I want that less recoil, that less reliance on aim assist. If you're a hyper demon, you can maybe rock something with an iron sight or a less reliability on recoil control and even snappier. But for the average player, this is going to be a great aggressive build to use. Okay, for this build, we went ahead and we didn't need a muzzle on it, but we still needed some assistance here over with the SP, the angle grip. The long barrel helps out with more bullet velocity and recoil control. We have the second grip, which helps out with firing aiming stability. Because one thing that I noticed that was bad about some of the SMGs is when you would strafe, the gun would kind of like shake and we don't want that. So keep that in mind as you build these guns, they may be accurate, but try shooting them while you're strafing and you might notice the gun starts to get really tough to see what you're shooting at. And that's why you throw in something like this, which has really good firing aiming stability. Also, um, anything with aiming idle sway will help that out as well. Throw on the Mark III reflector and then the 40 round mag because we need a little bit more damage for mag with a gun like this. All right, sweet. Next up, heading over to number seven. You guys, once again, are you taking those screenshots? Make sure you are subscribed. This one is a fun one. It's a pull me at 762, but it's different. Okay, because we threw on the Jack Annihilator Bullpup Kit that takes this gun basically from an LMG into like an AR. Then we throw on the 75 round belt mag, which makes it even faster. It, it radically changes the movement speed, as you can see all that green going on there. And then we have the Ivanog ST grip. Once again, the reason I put this on is because of aiming idle sway. This gun, when you throw on this Bullpup Kit, okay, look at that. All of the negatives, the... the handling and mobility may be up but it makes your aiming idle stability go to crap we have the reduction pad for more firing aiming stability and also for recoil control unfortunately if you try to equip an underbarrel it kicks me out of the game it doesn't let me it doesn't let me create an underbarrel for this gun um so that's why i went with the grip when normally i'm struggling with aiming idle stability the best ones for those are typically in the foregrips if i tried to press this right now it would kick me out of the game it's a bug in the game i don't know why but when we see this gun, you're like, holy crap. Like, this is an LMG, but look how fast I'm moving across the map with it. And look how fast, like, the strafe is. Like, this is a really fast strafe for an LMG. But more importantly, you have 75 rounds. And once I put on that grip, it's now got a really manageable aiming idle sway. I promise you, if you were to look at this before, it would have looked like this as you were walking. It looked horrible. And now... Imagine playing a war mode or something with this. You're putting down a lot of hate downrange with this gun. Here's the build. Nice. Moving on. I got a little pair up for it. A lot of these, and when you guys are leveling up weapons, you need a you need a secondary, okay? Get the Renetti in your hands. It's super reliable, very fast to run around the map with, and most importantly, it's what the pros are using because it kills extremely quick, okay? Nice, nice thing about this build, we have the sidearm to where if I did need to pull out my sidearm, it's extremely quick. And on top of that, it actually does a lot of damage, but most importantly, it is super, super fast for all things, whether it's pulling out a quick gun that you need in the middle of a firefight, or if you're trying to make your way across the map, you can still pull out this pistol and win gunfights with someone who may have an SMG. I mean, look at that. Like, you can tuber someone. You're going to kill faster than a lot of SMGs in this game. Okay, for this build... We basically built it all for speed because more than likely, if we have a sidearm, 
we're using that to transit across the map because we're trying to level up our primary okay so we have the p10 laser this is going to give us more aiming stability so it's not going to have the iron sights kind of floating around on us but a laser is not going to show up a laser is not visible as you can see here if i were to go one to the right the laser would be visible to my enemies and i don't want that okay we have the short competition barrel we have the high velocity ammo that's going to help out with our hit reg we have the Bruin 9 trigger, which is going to help out with our fire rate and help us get that faster time to kill. And then we have the Renetti wood grip, which is going to help out with that pistol fast draw. That's why you have that feature there with that pistol coming out so fast. Now, when you look at these base stats, a sprint to fire of 32 milliseconds, aimed on sight of 139 milliseconds. Like you don't need to build this gun to be any faster than what I already have. You're going to be zooming across the map. You're going to get that gun out super quick, and it's going to be a great sidearm to have on your side. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to number nine and number 10. Okay, this is the quick scoper's dream. This is what a lot of my sweaty quick scoper phase guys are using. And, you know, you can see why. Okay, it's got a really quick ADS. It's got a 10 round mag. And like, I, I haven't even been warming up and trying to use this gun. And as you can see, it just feels super natural. Unfortunately, once again, I got kicked out of the, um, the private match. There, there's a lot of i would i didn't even think that's a bug i think that's just a server thing where they don't want is technically when you enter into a private match i think you take up server space and so unfortunately i get kicked out every here and there okay when you go in once again this gun super fast ads really nice scope i think you're gonna have a lot of fun using this if that is your type of play so we have the no stock we have the demo 650 grip a 10 round mag the high grain which is going to help out with damage range which will allow us to get more one shot headshots and one shot chest shots the, and the FSS OLEV laser. This is purely a quick scoping build. That's why we're rocking instead of the 30 round, the 10 round to have that faster aim down sight. It's a lot of fun to use. And frankly, when people use it against you, it it is so frustrating. Quick scoping's back. They murdered it in previous games and it is back with vengeance with this longbow build. Next up, we got another little one that is going to be tough to show off in the firing range. But speaking of one shots, Okay. This shotgun's, uh, I'll be honest, a little terrifying. Okay, keep in mind, this guy is 10 meters away. Okay, I'm not barrel stuffing him. This is a this is a normal SMG, SMG engagement, right? Uh-oh, I just made a liar out of myself. I'm like consistently one-shotting people with this in-game. Now, we're, we're going to address it in a future video, but don't throw on... Things like slugs, explosive round, dragon's breath. I think they're bugged, okay? I don't think they, they, I, I know they don't. I've ran some testing. We'll talk about it in a future video. Um, it's not worth, okay? Just go ahead and stick with the standard, uh, tw like buckshot 12 gauge that they have inside of it. And as you can see, I've even been able to get kills from like all the way back here. That's like 15 meters one shot with this shotgun okay the build that we have the bryson choke is huge look at that all the way over on the deep left where it says shotgun spread minus 38 percent what that means is when you go and you're going to shoot this shotgun okay you have two types of spread when you're using a shotgun in the game you have your hip fire spread and then as you can see that's what how spread out it is at the same distance now if i were to shoot that aim down sight in total realism just because i aimed on sight the spread goes down with that bryson choke on top of it that allows the shotgun to basically become a sniper in certain situations and getting that one shot capability okay we have the lockwood defense okay this is going to give us more damage range it's also going to give us more ammo capacity i know over there it says like your reload quickness is a lot slower that's only because we have additional rounds in the magazine or tube rather um, and it's, I, I really like this shotgun. Okay, we have the sawed off mod, which is going to help us with our sprint to fire speed, which is really important for shotguns, also for our movement speed as well. The express light bolt is going to increase our rechambering speed by 79%, which means we can get more shots down range. And then the skeleton is going to help us out with all of our movement speed to move across the map even faster. But ladies and gentlemen, we are heading into the bonus one. And for this bonus one, this gun was so good. It got banned within 24 hours of Modern Warfare 3 tournaments going live with the Call of Duty League players, with these all the Warzone sweats and Search and Destroy sweats. It got banned because it was so dominant and too good. Okay, so if you're looking to punish someone on the enemy team that's just sweating a little bit too hard, you're going to put them in place with this weapon that I'm about to show you, okay? 
so for all of these guns through here i'm really confident with these builds i feel full confidence that i could go in and absolutely slay out but over on my third channel, I actually take guns and I, I perfect them. I go through and I look at every little minute detail, every statistic, and the guns that I post on my third channel are refined masterpieces. And that's what I have done. The Holger 5.56 is considered one of the best guns in the game right now. And over on the third channel, that'll be linked in the pinned comment and the description, I have a full dedicated video showing you the perfect build the Holger 556. Better yet, it'll be linked right here. So go ahead and click that link right now. Go check out the Holger build. It is one of the best guns in the game right now. As I said, it's been banned and the gameplay that I have to go along with it is just too dang good to miss out on.